بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاؤ کین وی سلیکٹ پلانٹس فار ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف بائی ریمیڈیشن ٹو ٹریٹ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ٹاکسک کمپاؤنڈ دس از دیر از نو ڈائریکٹ آنسر ٹو دس کویشچن وائی سو بیکاز اٹ ڈپینڈس آن لاٹ آف تھنگس اینڈ لاٹ آف فیکٹرز انوالوڈ سو لیٹس سی ہاؤ کین وی سلیکٹ پلانٹس میجر کرائٹیریا فار پلانٹ سلیکشن آر دا پرٹیکولر ریکوائرمنٹس فار دا میتھڈ ٹو بی امپلائڈ اینڈ دا نیچر آف دا کنٹیمنٹس انوالوڈ Obviously, first of all, we will try to see کہ contaminants کون سے ہیں ان کی کیا کنسٹریشن ہے سائٹس کی کیا کیریکٹرسٹکس ہیں کلائمیٹ کیسا ہے وہاں پہ اور باقی ساری چیزیں اینڈ دین وہاں پہ ہم کس قسم کی اپروچ آ رہے ہیں کیا وہاں پہ کوئی انجینئرنگ ورک کرنا ہے ہم نے یہ نہیں کرنا ان ساری باتوں کو سامنے رکھ کے وی ول چوز پلانٹس دے آر سو مین ڈفرینٹ پلانٹ اسپیشیز فرام وچ وی کین پیک اینڈ چوز دے آر سو مین ڈفرینٹ پلانٹ اسپیشیز وچ آر نان ٹو ریزسٹ اکملیٹ ٹرانسفارم اینڈ ورٹلائز ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ٹاکسک کمپاؤنڈس For example, in case of organic phytotransformation, uh, the plant species which we would like to select should be uh, fast growing. Why so? Because obviously we would like the plants to have a fast growth rate so that we will grow quickly and quickly accumulate toxic compounds from there and transform them from there. Transform them. The plants should be easy to maintain. Uh, obviously, the more easy it will be to maintain, the more the cost effectiveness will come. The plants should have a high transpar- transpiration pull. اوبیسلی جتنا زیادہ ٹرانسپریشن پول ہوگا ان کا جتنا زیادہ اسٹرانگ ہوگا وہ اتنا زیادہ وہ اپ ٹیک کریں گے کنٹیمنٹ کا فرام دا سوائل اور اتنا زیادہ وہ اس کے ویپریٹ ہونے کے چانسز زیادہ ہوں گے ان دا ایٹماسفیئر دا پلانٹ شوڈ بی ایبل ٹو ٹرانسفارم دا پلوٹینٹس ٹو لیس ٹاکسک اور نان ٹاکسک فارمس یہ بہت ضروری ہے بیکاز یو لائک ٹو یوز اونلی دوز پلانٹس وچ ٹرانسفارم Uh, the contaminants to lesser toxic forms or to non-toxic forms. Uh, if uh, there is a plant which is uh, actually doing uh, the opposite, uh, we will not like to use that plant because that is uh, actually uh, useless. On some si- uh, sites, the planting of grass varieties uh, is done in conjunction with the trees, often in rows. This is helpful as well. Why so? Because uh, uh, different types of plant species when planted together uh, maybe in rows or any other strategy they actually help each other uh, they can help each other uh, in growing they can help in each other in uh, in removing and uh, stabilizing or destroying the contaminant uh, to much efficient levels uh, they can also help each other uh, uh, to maintain their growth and their uh, uh, stability in the soil why so uh, when you plant such species in such fashion Uh, they also strengthen the soil structure and uh, they also prevent the runoff of the soil and so many other things as well so sometimes we have to make such a strategy as well and that we would like to use more than one type of plant species uh, in conjunction the selection of appropriate plant species is not limited solely to their direct ability to treat contaminants sometimes it doesn't uh, always happen that the plant that we are using is directly doing the job is directly degrading or transforming the contaminant sometimes it also so happens that the plant is actually helping some other plant species around it or it is helping some certain types of bacteria present in the soil in the rhizosphere and those bacteria are actually doing the job they are the, they are actually transforming the contaminant not the plant itself for example different types of legumes can be of great benefit to a soil which is naturally deficient in nitrogen why so because uh, legumes directly kuch nahi kare however uh, the legumes have symbionts root nodule bacteria and these bacteria have the ability to fix nitrogen uh, so indirectly plants indirectly help kar rahe hain to uh, treat the soil so there are so many different examples in this regard as well so plants cannot only be used directly for the fertilizer remediation uh, or the remediation of the soil but uh, these can also be used indirectly and they can help uh, the other plant species present around them or they can help the bacteria present around them and in their rhizosphere area and those bacteria and those other plant species are actually uh, doing the bioremediation uh, so depending on all these circumstances we can pick and choose different species of plants and uh, we can choose more than one species of plants as well i will see you in next lessons